when you are, Commander. Increase speed! Forward!
Kannst du wie los? Speed! Archer! Ready! 
On your luck, have I got a solution for you? What's all this about? It's about adventure, thrills, danger, and untold fortunes. I love a good adventure. If you've got the drachmi and the time, I've got a once in a lifetime adventure just for you. Tell me more. Secrecy is key, Mystios. We can't just have anyone knowing there's a fortune to be found. But first, everything has a price. Pay up, and I'll give you a tablet with everything you need to know. Here you go. Excellent. Here you go. This tablet will lead you directly to untold riches. What? Just tell me where... The tablet reveals all. What does that even mean? Just look at the tablet and follow the directions, Mystios. My work here is done. Off the east coast of Kithia, on their Kofti Island, your reward awaits.
Found it. I'm going to snap that man's neck in two. What's going on? The chest was empty. Inconceivable. Maybe you don't know how to read a tablet? I guarantee you there's something inside. How can you be so sure? Because I'm the one who put it there. Uh, I mean, Malaka. No, no, no! Imbevoglis can lead us all to meet the gods. He knows the way. We must worship him. Your insults may be strong and, 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 and quite hurtful. What seems to be the problem? Imbevoglis be praised, Amistheus. I've done nothing wrong, yet these priestesses mean me harm. Please, my god is powerful and rich. His god is a malaka, a blasphemous blight on Aphrodite's hallowed soil. This is a matter for priestesses alone. You said rich? Indeed. Empedocles rewards those who come to his call. Th these priestesses have imprisoned him in the fort. He's a god. He deserves worship. He doesn't sound like much of a god to me. How could you? You can't keep a god bound. And anyone who tried would die in the attempt. Embethoglis is not that kind of god. He is no god at all. Your words are an affront to the will of Aphrodite. If these priestesses speak for Aphrodite, then I speak for all three slobbering heads of Cerberus. Time to go save a god, apparently. Do as you will, Mistios. But even you cannot be everywhere at once. I'll be fine. Is there anything else you need to know? Where can I find this god of yours? They have him locked in a cage in Scandia Bay with the livestock. This would be shameful for any regular god, and more so for a vegetarian god. Does he stand out in any way? There may be more than one prisoner. The guards stripped him naked. And when you are confronted with his gift, Embedoglis' godly nature will be hard to deny. His gift? Let's just say you'll know it when you see it. I know all I need. Your Empedocles will be freed. Do not worry for my safety, Mistios. It is Empedocles who needs your help. He's over there.
There's the Murax camp. This area will be well defended. Nothing here. I'm losing my mind. What the? Do you see, feeble humans? I, the great Empedocles, cannot be caged. Worship me, and I offer you an audience with the gods. Put down your blades. I offer those who follow me an audience with my brothers and sisters, the gods. Gods cannot bleed. So, so you best put down your blades. Do not stab my godly groin! Look upon my form, mortal. No need to thank me for your rescue. Your lack me is thanks enough. Me? Thank you? Here? With no audience? No, 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 my heroic friend. The stage is not set. Our performance is missing that most vital ingredient. An audience! Meet me by my personal statue so we may continue. We worship a little differently where I'm from. We don't kill a man for what he believes. We show respect. Respect is for the gods, not those who pretend to be them. The world is full of strife, yes, but also love. Embrace it. Embrace me. And I will personally introduce you to all my family. The gods! If being locked naked in a cell makes someone a god, the Pantheon would be overflowing. Maybe Empedocles is a god, maybe he's not. All I know is that he doesn't beat young men to death. I follow you proudly. Brothers, sisters of Githira, join me. You think betraying Aphrodite will go unpunished? You may not believe in my godliness, Mystios, but I believe. There's some god in you, and that we can put to use. Even a god won't work for free. Of course. What else would I spend my drachmi on? Clothes? Of course. Why would you? Perhaps you could aid me in another matter. I'll help you. How often do you get the help of god? Of my caliber? Never. Come, my well-muscled friend. There is much to discuss. But first... So you're not the god of getting to the point. The likeness is terrifyingly good, don't you think? Terrifying, yes. What did you need? A god never needs help! But yes, please. I've been having trouble with my brothers and sisters. The gods? 
family problems. When I first arrived on Kithira, I was imprisoned for my beliefs. They stole my purple robe, and inside it is a very special disc. The key to my family estate. And you want this disc retrieved? Of course. The disc is a key. A key that opens a door to the gods themselves. This disc must be returned to me. You said this robe thief intercepted you at the dock. Do you know where he is now? He and his guards patrol along Kithera's main roads. But he enjoys roughing up recent arrivals. The gods would protect themselves with more than a locked door opened by a disc. Oh, but you should see the door, Mystios. Something so beautiful was not crafted by mortal hands. And my brothers, my sisters, I hear them calling me home from beyond it. What are your godly brothers and sisters really like, Empedocles? As any sibling, loving, filled with strife. They once caught me eating lamb and cast me out. Though, between you and me, that lamb... Mm. Worth it! The gods wait for no one! Patience is not one of our virtues, no. Will you help? This disc sounds important. I'll find the man who stole it, and return it to you. Found you. This way, come! might stink like rotten dog guts, but I'll be fucked if it doesn't make me look like a god. <laughs> Look how he strides. The confidence. If I didn't know better, I'd say there were two gods of Kithera. I found your disc. Praise me. Clearly, I have worked through you. Clearly. Time to meet the gods, then? I'd love to introduce you to my family. Of course, if you're ready to join me. Well, this should be interesting. That, my dear Mystios, I can absolutely guarantee. A moment, please, while I address my audience. Rejoice! For I, your humble god, shall introduce you to my brothers and sisters. Athena awaits you! Ares demands your audience! That's a big promise. You doubt me? I don't doubt the joy you've brought your followers. Their loyalty will be rewarded. As will yours. We set sail for the Gulf of Corinth, and all the secrets she veils. Meet us there, and see the truth for yourself. And meet your siblings? I wouldn't miss it. Ah.
This world. I hear you, my brothers, my sisters. You see? They're here. The, the gods are behind this door. Listen. I didn't mean to be away so long. Kitera is... Well, if you're looking to unleash a new plague somewhere... This is not what I expected. Camouflage, my unimaginative friend. A mere disguise to ward off those seeking the glory inside. Ah! You hear them too! There is something there. 
And whatever's making that noise must be two or three times the size of a man. Quickly, use the disc! Open the door! They're expecting us! Whatever's inside, I'm ready. My brothers and sisters! The gods! Creators of the universe! Outstretch your mighty hands and raise me to the heavens!